Well, as the county, in fact, the entire state continues to cover from the pandemic, many here, at least in Honolulu, are wondering what the next leader will do in terms of our road to recovery. Five candidates vying to lead Honolulu took to the virtual stage tonight to tackle tourism and rebuilding the economy. Kimberly Speakman has a recap of the narrow forum. Today's debate took place virtually, the first in a long line as candidates get closer to election. One of the major topics, the COVID-19 pandemic and how to get our economy back on track. Hosted by the Waikiki Improvement Association, a lot of conversation was specific to the area and tourism. While some candidates talked about the need to turn to other industries, other candidates said we need to look at federal funding to help existing businesses that are struggling. The city, from a city standpoint, providing workforce development programs to pivot people from the tourism industry to other industries because it may take a while before tourism bounces back and they can't afford to wait till the tourism industry bounces back. We have to do this right or we're going to ruin our reputation forever. I would work with the military who did not shut down. They have a lot of openings. So if we work with the state and federal partners to implement strong testing, tracing, and hopefully eventually deploying a vaccine, we can safely bring back tourism while recalibrating our visit account to a more palatable level. With the CARES Act and other federal legislation that we see coming through, we have to use that opportunity. CARES Act can legitimately be used in situations that, for example, COVID has caused a problem. The diversification should, right now, in the short term, pivot around tourism. What about more sports tourism? What about more movies on the beach? Are there where we'll be able to bring new television, new movies uh, to Honolulu, proven winner, Hawaii Five-O and Magnum PI. What about a different kind of Hawaii Food and Wine Festival? Other topics talked about dealing with potential sea level rise in Waikiki, vacation rentals in Hawaii, and business recovery amid COVID-19, especially when it comes to getting some long-standing problems like traffic and the lack of street parking solved. The mayor has not yet assign these people to these positions, which is why I want to be the mayor to implement a lot of the hard work that we have put forth. We need government to give you the proper instruments in order to make it work. So I think it just needs time. And the fact that the authority was convened three years ago and there's still no solutions or they haven't been able to come to conclusions. Regardless of the ultimate reason behind these issues, it's incumbent on a mayor and a true leader to identify these problems and fix them. It's about community-based engagement. So that's how we will move the needle forward, not just talking about it, but having a real solution to make it happen. One of the panelists of tonight's forum was always investigating Gina Mangieri. The mayoral candidates will have another chance to square off on Thursday. That forum will be held by the Chamber of Commerce Hawaii and moderated by KHON2 political analyst John Hart. We will be live streaming that forum on our website, KHON2.com, starting at 10 a.m. Kimberly Speakman, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.